Hey everyone, Arizona Kid here. Uh, we're gonna do a video talking about these new uh, Maxxis tires I got. Uh, let me get you guys flipped around here. So, this is the Pioneer 700. It's got a cover on it right now, but here's the tires on it. I believe I purchased a Maxxis uh, Bighorn 2.0 on them. Uh, the tire size is 27 on the front and the back on them. And I think stock, which is funny because stock is the same thing that was on the, the Honda Foreman that came on this was uh, the same size that came on here came on that one and it was, they were 25s. So uh, some people say they go up to 28. And I honestly, I mean, look how close that is. It, it might not be an issue. I know someone said they put like a two inch lift kit on theirs and it was for sure no issue. But then, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the 27 decision from the 25. I think that was a, a nice increase. Now, I have only taken it out on two rides on it. So, uh. You can tell different def definitely from the let me put my foot on it from the from the front to the back tire they are uh you know fatter obviously big difference on and i also before i took it out on a ride and before i got sick i had put in that tip on it so that tips fading out from being black i had also changed the setting because these were completely soft on the shocks and I changed it to about the middle, I'll say. Not not the hardest it can go, but like the middle setting. So that's what I changed on. So let's, let's, let me flip you guys around and let's talk about it really fast. I don't want this video to be very long because it shouldn't be. Let me flip you guys around. Alrighty, so there you yeah. go. Just trying to get used to the doing this again. So. Flipped it around now. I don't think you really need to see the tire when we're talking, but but so I took this out for a ride with my son. He's 10. I, I'm sure I'm gonna get a bunch of flack for that, but he's 10 and I still was dealing with, you know, losing my oxygen thing. I still am dealing with it, but uh he he drove probably 98% of the time. And we were only out there for like an hour or so. And so I drove a little bit. He drove most of the time. And I'll tell you what, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to walk back to over here so I can sit down instead of kneeling down. But I'll tell you what, those tires, those 27s, I kept, uh, oh, we even got his little, uh, his little China one running again. I was going to get rid of it, but he wanted to keep it. So uh, we got it running. But uh, I'll tell you what, I, uh, I get off on tangents really easy squirrel but those 27s man i was riding in passenger i was even driving and it felt so soft now i know the machine calls for a certain psi on it but i had the psi set pretty low i think i had it like like eight and ten or something like that and i mean it it just felt like the most comfortable ride ever. And then I kept thinking, well, maybe that's because I don't have a lot of air pressure in the tires that I mean, and then I kept thinking to my, well, I didn't think in my head initially. So then I took it out again with my nephews uh, and my son didn't go this time. And it was a night ride and we, we got a little bit more technical with it. And, uh, and I wish I, I had video of like that to show you what it was doing, but I increased the tire pressure, I believe, to the front 10 and the back 15. And what's still a comfortable ride? I mean, I mean, made I, I rode, drove it with the other tires and it felt more like bumpy, like rough. And this felt so comfortable. Then I remembered in my head, wait a minute, you also changed, you made the shocks more stiff in the rear. And it still, still felt like a better ride. So, once again, I don't know. I don't know if it's the the brand of these Maxxis Bighorns. If it, they're making the difference, if it's the air pressure I'm having in them, I'm sure it has something to do with it. But what a comfortable, 
easy going ride and then there was some technical stuff where you're kind of like going off camber a little bit and you know and it always felt like i mean because you have that uh on the back of the pioneer number one you don't have turf mode on the 700 so you're always running with a locked rear differential and then it also is a uh, you have a uh, i don't remember what the bar is called there's a bar back there so when you get off sideways it that bar uh kind of really hangs it up it's just like having a straight axle even though the thing isn't really it is not straight axle it's an independent suspension but i always felt weird like it felt like it was really wanting to like lean or tip and and i didn't feel that anymore i don't know like i said once again i don't know if it was the tires they, they 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 give a little bit better if it was the i know i didn't have any more tire pressure in the old ones than i have in the i probably even less than i had in the, the these newer ones but what a different ride and a climbing ride. I mean, it just kind of just went up it like it was nothing. I mean, I always thought the other ones looked like, oh, they look cool. They have like, they look like tractor tires, big tread on them. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking I made the right choice. I just, if you guys are looking for the tire to do, that's that's my, my first two ride review on these Maxxis uh, Bighorn 2.0. I mean, I have no complaints. Uh, I know they're, they're they're more plied than the stock that came on it. And I'm sure people are gonna go, well, stock's good too. I, I'm not bashing stock at all. I'm just telling you the difference between stock and these, but wow, what a what a different feeling on it. So, uh, so that's about it, guys. Short little video here on that review on it. You know, uh, it's not you no know, much you can really talk about other than my experience with it, but they are a great tire, I believe. You know, it's funny because uh, stock on, the uh, foreman, they are Maxxis, but the stock on the Pioneer weren't Maxxis. They were some other black something, Hawk something, I don't know, some weird brand I never even heard of before. But, uh, but yeah, so once again, Bighorn 2.0 Maxxis tires on it. I can't remember if it shows the ply on here or not. Yeah, six ply, tubeless. So, uh. Yeah, I think the front aren't six ply though. I think the front that I got for some reason, I looked at it and I was like, well, wait, the front aren't six ply? That's weird. You know what? Yeah, four. So that's weird. So the front's four ply and the back's six. Is that weird? It's kind of weird, huh? Hmm. Anyway, it's still awesome tire, guys. Go get it. Anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, keep the powder dry, and uh, my next video will be having uh, is about uh, this uh, little storage things I got uh, that I think are pretty awesome, and also want to talk about some uh, difference in mirrors. So look for that next time. So keep the powder dry, and uh, peace out, Girl Scout.